Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. Now this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. Uh, it is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, that's the best time for you. Now because it's a general reading, just take what resonates with you at this time. Okay, um... We'll try to see what is your main energy at the end of the day. Okay, we have here the Nine of Swords. Okay. The Nine of Swords is uh, uh, somebody who's having sleepless nights. Somebody who has uh, something in their mind that gives them sorrow. Keeps them awake at night. Okay, but this time, when you look at this one, this person is like uh, he... He made an altar before him. So he is in prayer and he's asking for assistance. So it's a good, for me, it's a good card because uh, you are entrusting to the divine and to your spirit guides whatever it is that is causing you sorrow at this time. So for me, it's a good energy wherein you see here, you are being accompanied. You are not alone. Uh, you are being accompanied by the spirit realm. And yeah, in your sorrow, you are not alone. And uh, yeah, you're keeping vigil candles here. So in a certain sense, you do not completely feel helpless because in your helplessness, you entrust it to the divine. And so your strength and your consolation comes from the divine. So uh, it's good. Uh, you do not rely on yourself, but also you don't hesitate to ask help from the divine. So for me, it's a good... It's a good card. Yes, there is sorrow right now, but you are not alone and you appreciate that you are not alone. You appreciate that the divine can be of help to your present situation. So, yeah. Somehow there is that hope. Now, let's try to see what happened in your recent past. Well, whatever whatever, yeah, okay. This this could be what you are right now trying to uh, that is causing you anxiety right now. It can be a relationship that is yeah low energy relationship. You see here, uh, the the woman is not getting any attention from the man, and the man is just preoccupied with providing himself pleasure. So in a certain sense, uh, yeah, it's a low level relationship wherein uh, it's not an equal giving and taking. One is give, receiving more. And the other seems to be uh, deprived. So there is an unbalanced relationship here right now. So you try to see, does this resonate with you? Are you right now in an unhealthy relationship? Whether it be a romantic one or a friendship or uh, is it um, a family relationship right now? But it is causing you sorrow at this present time. Because yes, it's not an equal give and take. But you are able to persevere in the recent past. You persevered because of courage. Somehow you you still you still persevered. I think it is because maybe in a certain sense for some of you, you have a, a, a deep relationship with the divine. So, despite of uh, such a trying situation, you are still able to persevere. And I feel that the universe is responding, is helping you right now. The universe is sending help. For me, the Ace of Wands is something, is the universe sending you a, a gift that sets you on fire that will allow you to extricate yourself from this situation. Now, when you look at it, uh, the tears can be an appreciation also from the divine, a gratefulness that somehow uh, the divine is responding to your situation, or at the same time, you realize that you need the divine in your life at this moment. So, but don't worry, the universe is already responding and is giving you assistance. And whatever this assistance is, it will allow you to move forward. We have here the chariot and you are reaching now for the stars. So yeah, amidst this difficult situation, in the recent past, you had the courage to move on <clears throat> and the universe gave you assistance. At the same time, yeah, you still recognize that it's giving you sorrow, but uh, 
you recognize that you have the divine to help you and because of that yeah you have here a big sword no we have here the page of swords and the page of swords is somebody who's still learning but you are learning I, the, the sword can symbolize wisdom so somehow this experience is teaching you something you are gaining wisdom you are learning something from the school of life at this present time so whatever difficult situation it is the divine is helping you to move forward and reach for the stars but at the same time also you are learning something new now what can we expect in the near future well there is we have here celebration <laughs> okay so yeah so you just need to persevere and in the end there will be celebration and it's as if the universe is saying don't worry you have everything you need in order to free yourself from this uh, loneliness or this anxiety or this problem uh, you are the queen of cups you can be in control of the situation just allow yourself to be constantly guided by nature by the divine by the universe by your spirit guides so be confident knowing that you are not alone continue to pray continue to ask for assistance and things will turn out just fine you will find all the need all everything that you need in order to free yourself from that situation uh, here is rising it's like you know what came to me it's phoenix rising from the ashes okay so it's uh, whatever this trial is you will sooner or later rise from it so just persevere so i hope somehow this resonates to your with your present situation let us try to end with some oracle cards we have here the guiding light oracle okay So for our guiding light oracle, we have onward and upward. Okay, yeah. Makes me think of this chariot, no? It's onward and upward. Reach for the sky. Okay, reach for the stars. So onward and upward. So yeah. Don't let that temporary loneliness that you have right now keep you from moving forward and upward let go of the past so you can be present and create the future you desire so yeah don't hesitate let go of the past and trust everything to the divine okay let go of this one this situation that you have been in and finally we have shining star you're a shining star, okay? Uh, it is time for you to take front and center stage. So, yeah. You're the magician. You're the queen of cups. You're a shining star. You'll make it through, and sooner or later, there will be celebration. So, yeah. Just don't lose hope it's just a passing situation things will get better soon now let's try to end with a good night or sweet dream message let go i am kind to myself and share my beauty with those around me i let go of self-criticism okay yeah it's okay this is part of your life accept it as part of your life now it's time for you to close the chapter and to let it go and trust everything to the divine in prayer and move onward and upward well that's it for today i hope it has inspired you and it has resonated with your present situation and maybe have given you some answers to your questions uh, thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing i uh, Look, I'm looking forward to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.